Hi, Lauren. We issue you the education certificate, and with the education certificate, you'll then need to follow the directions. We, we send you an email uh, with a video that has all the directions and how to apply for the exam. So you'll need to download your candidate bulletin and email your application to the exam center. Yeah, you're on our newer platform, so the education certificate will download automatically when you get to the end of the class and you'll automatically also get an email saying congratulations you finished and it will provide uh, some instructions and a link to that video that I just mentioned as well. So the issue with taking the test is not so much how much their availability, it's more about waiting to get approved because nowadays the state does the criminal background check first and that's what is the takes a little time. So I'm hearing that that's like three or four weeks. And then once you're approved, then, then you can book an exam date very shortly thereafter once you're approved. No, that's all right, it happens to everybody. And remember that you do have the opportunity since January to take the class either, excuse me, take the exam either online or in person. You don't need to decide that now, uh, but I just wanna remind you about it. Uh, yeah, don't panic, don't panic, you got this. You're welcome. Call me anytime, thank you, have a great day, bye-bye. Don't be nervous, no! In fact, the key to passing the exam is probably to try not to be nervous, I know that's hard, uh, but to stay focused on a question-by-question -question basis, and also have a strategy for the exam. Now, I've said this many, many times, but I'll say it again. You know, I really believe that you need to use all four hours and this is how I take the exam. I go through all the questions in order and I answer them uh, the first time I see them. As I do that, you know, I might come across, let's just say five questions that I'm not too sure about. So the software allows you to bookmark it or um, uh, tag it, so to speak, so that you can go back to those difficult questions later on. So I go through all the questions in the first segment, which is the national portion of the exam. And then I look at the clock and say, oh, I got extra time. So then I go back to those five or so that I had difficulty with. I answer those, double check my thought process. And then I look at the clock and I say, oh, I still have time. So then I go back over the other questions that I thought I pretty much got right until I run out of time. And then when I run out of time on that section, then I move forward to the second part of the exam, which is the Massachusetts portion, and I use the same strategy. Uh, there are 40 questions in that part. I use all 40 questions. I answer them all as I go through them. I bookmark if I have any trouble. Let's just say if bookmark three or four. I look at the time. Oh, I got extra time. Let's go back and review those three or four I had trouble with. Do that, look at the, oh, I still have more time? Great, let me go back and review all of the other questions. So in that way, I'm really able to put myself in a position strategically to answer or review all of the questions like twice. Yeah, so that's how I do it. So you gotta have a good strategy and also tactically really focus on one question at a time. Uh, independently and if you do those two things then with a good strategy and good tactics hopefully you won't be as nervous all right study hard talk to you later